$300. We're going to do another challenge and see what we can grow it to. Here are the rules. See profit, take profit. This is a swing trading challenge for me, which means the majority of my trades I am going to buy one day and sell another. It may not be up the next day, but it could be up a few days after that and so on. In this challenge, I am working with a margin account, which means I only get three day trades and a five day trading period, which of course I have to worry about less if I am making less trade and swinging the majority of my trades. Over the past six months or so, I've found that swing trading works a lot better for me. Next rule, start with $300. That's what I'm starting with. For anyone who wants to join along in this challenge, I'm starting with 300. If you want to challenge yourself in some way, uh, start with whatever you want, but I'm starting with 300. And that's probably about the amount that will be going towards my trade. So if you are someone that's interested in seeing my trades and maybe emulating them in some way, shape or form for yourself, be sure to join the Patreon just so you know there are four tiers. Uh, the first one is going to get you access to the watch list videos and basic access in the discord. The pay tiers, five, 10, $20. All those are going to be the exact same, but they're also going to give you access to my trades. When I make them, you will receive the alerts for the trades. When I make them in the discord, if you join the discord using one of those tiers going on, the next rule is all of my contracts have to be at least one week out. So if it is Monday this week, I cannot buy contracts that expire this Friday. I have to buy more time for the following Friday, which also means if today is Friday, I still have to go out to the next week, which means for me, the day for me to get the cheapest contract is going to be on Friday so I can get next week's and swing it over the weekend. Going on, the third rule is I can only trade stocks that I talk about on my watch list video or post on the support and resistance levels in the discord, which once again is only going to be accessible to patrons. But once again, if you want to watch the watch list videos, those are going to be free and should still have a lot of overlap with the list going out to the patrons. And last but not least, I can only make one trade a day. This rule is implemented to force me to kind of think more about what I'm doing and also force me to take more time to myself and spend less time focused and watching the charts like a hawk. One thing I've learned about myself over the past six months is I do a lot better trading when I'm not focused on trading. I am the most consistent trading when I am on vacation, when I am out doing things not about trading when I follow my setup because I am not focused on every little minute movement that the market is making. And because of that, I'm limiting myself at one trade per day. So if I swing a trade and I take profits, I still can't take another trade if I took profits that same day. And because of that, this challenge is going to be a bit slower, but I think maybe just maybe I may have found the challenge for me. There is no goal for this challenge. I am just shooting for upward trajectory. The first thing I'm going to try to do is get my initial $300 out of the trade. And then we're going to take it one trade at a time, see where we can get this thing. I would like to ride this until the end of 2024. If I can without blowing it up and showing a lot of increase. So if this is something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and you know, join the discord so that you're updated when I upload these videos. And now with that being said, let's take a look at the portfolio before we really hop in or make any trades. All right. So here we are in the good old moo moo. As you can see, let's pay attention to the buying power because I took some money out of my account. I had like a little bit of extra money in there and I pulled it out. But as you can see, the max buying power is $300. Our goal is just to increase this right now. We have three day trades, no swing trades. The market currently opens in 30 minutes. We'll see if I make a trade today. I already made the watch list for the day. Uh, looks like 
we're probably looking between some we're, we're probably looking at the spy tesla nvidia dell something along those lines to make a trade but uh yeah this is where we're at and by the time that i see you again we'll have made our first move all right so the market has been open two hours i've made my first trade of this challenge uh, my trading plan has already played out for the first trade so now i'm going to use this time to set a stop and we'll take a look at things all right so here we are in the good old moo moo as you can see we are up 20 percent on the day uh starting off very well we're up 20 percent on the day up 63 dollars and if you look right here you can see we're in a in a 136 nvidia call that in that expires next week we paid 273 for it and it is currently worth 336 so real quick i figured i'd use this time as an opportunity to make some content and show you how to set a stop loss on mumu all right so we're going to go to the contract we're going to hit trade uh we're going to do one because i have one contract and this right here is the main reason this challenge is on Mumu and not Robinhood. Mumu has a lot more different options for stop losses. Robinhood does kind of have some stop losses, but I personally just like Mumu's more. So coming in, look at them. I am going to hit a stop, which if you read underneath, it says auto place a market order whenever the price reaches the specific trigger price. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna set my stop. The contract is currently going for $345. I'm gonna set my stop for here. Yeah, we'll set it for $335. That way we still lock in some profits. But if there's upside, if it decides it still wants to run, I can lock that in or I can I can move it up as well. So I'm gonna hit sell. And then it's just saying right here, if it falls below that price, it's gonna immediately initiate the order. So if it the price just drops off a cliff, it's gonna fill me at whatever order. That is kind of the risk you take whenever you put in a stop loss, but I don't think that should happen. So I'm gonna hit continue. The order has been put in. You can see we have this sell order right here and then going to look at it. Uh, you can see we're actually up 77 on the contract and now let's just quickly take a look at the trade plan all right so this was my trade plan for nvidia right here uh here let me move up to the five minute chart so this morning i got in about right here when nvidia was around 131.91 and what i actually did was i targeted the previous high just right over here at 133.78 yeah we hit the high so my trade has done everything i wanted to do but now i'm just going to kind of check in periodically and i will be back to update whenever we take profits all right so some time went on i moved up the stop loss and i got stopped out of the contract so let's take a look at how we did today all right so once again here we are in the handy dandy good old mumu and as you can see, we are up 25% on the day, $77. Uh, we started the day with $300 buying power, and now we are sitting at $376.92. I'm definitely happy with today's progress. Uh, you can see right now, we now only have two day trades left. No swing trades made today, but one of the rules is only one trade a day. So that's going to do it for this video i uh, just want to quickly update you on how we did all right so we bought in for 273 and then we got filled i, I set the stop for 355 we got filled at 350 so right there we locked in i think 77 dollars profit not too bad this is going to be the last video i do here in my portugal office if you're watching this i am probably on my way back to america so please bear with me there may be a little bit of a slowdown as i am getting readjusted to the time zones i gotta do a lot of moving and 
all that stuff. All in all, I'm happy to get this challenge kicked back off and I'm looking forward to being in a closer time zone and creating more. If you haven't already taken advantage of it, be sure to take advantage of the free stocks, five free stocks when you sign up and deposit $100, and they're gonna give you 15 if you deposit $1,000 or more, as, as well as 8% interest on your uninvested cash. Take advantage using the link down below in the description. If you're interested in seeing all the trades I make, be sure to join the Patreon. If you enjoyed the video and learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you made this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.